Hi friends and welcome to Tony Renee at Home. New subscriber or already a subscriber, I'm glad you're here this morning. I am going to talk to you about how to clean, maintain and care for and store your cast iron. I am also going to share with you how to refurbish a piece of cast iron that's got some rust on it. And I need to get bread in the oven for dinner tonight. And one of the ways of seasoning your cast iron is in the oven for an hour. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I need to get busy. So let's get started. I have two cast iron pans here. This one is fine. Nothing needs to be done to it except just some maintenance before I put it away. This one is kind of losing some of its season here on the edge and has a little bit of rust right here. So we are going to get rid of the rust first of all and then we're going to re-season this and we're going to throw it in the oven. But let's start with this one because it's the easiest. All you have to do after you use it and get it cleaned up is add a little bit of oil to the pan, not very much. I just have a splash in there and I'm just going to take a paper towel and rub it around on the inside and the outside. And that's all you have to do before you store your cast iron. Now, if you look at the Lodge website, and that's where I got the majority of my information, they tell you to use vegetable oil. I used avocado. And that's it. This pan is nice and seasoned, oiled up, and ready to be put away. I'm going to run this across the handle real quick because those can get rusty as well. And I'm just going to set that one to the side and I'll show you how I store it later. I used avocado oil. All right. We are going to do the same thing with this one, only first I want to get rid of some of this rust. So let's go over to the sink because I also have a pan over there that's gotten pretty rusty. It's my Dutch oven and it needs some serious help. Let me bring you over. Okay, this is my Dutch iron. This is my Dutch oven. And as you can see, it and the lid have gotten pretty rusty. This has never held a season well since I've had it. And I know that's my fault and that's one of the reasons that I went to the website and looked all of this up and for the most part I was doing everything right but I'm gonna try this again you can use soap when you clean your cast iron I am just going to use a couple of squirts of just this is method detergent uh, dish detergent and I'm going to get my water nice and hot. It already was, but it's been a minute, so it's cold again. Okay. And I'm just going to get some water in here. And I am going to use, this is a little scrubby pad that I just got from Walmart. You can use steel wool for this, but I wanted to see first if this was going to work because I don't have any steel wool that doesn't have the soap already in it. And let's try the brush. I am going to grab my steel wool, even though I'm okay with how this looks. Let's see if this does any better.
Let's see what we got. That looks a lot better, but I still see some rust that I'm going to see if I can get out. It is easier to see here on the side, there was some rust there. The rust is gone, but you can tell so is the season. So we season this inside and out. And it's easier to see here than it is inside. And I still have some more work to do in there as you can tell. I'm gonna get this finished and I'll come right back. After you clean your cast iron, you want to be sure and dry it right away with paper towels. You never want to put it up with water in it. Get it cleaned off as soon as possible, inside and out. I have my three pieces of cast iron here that I'm getting ready to season. I'm just going to take the same wool, just a dab in each or on each cast iron piece. Same paper towel that I used on my other little skillet. And I'm just going to run this around inside my pan. You want to be sure that you have enough to cover, but if you get too much, then it could cause it to be sticky. And you don't want that either. My paper towel store. And this is not a big deal. This is your seasoning that's on there. All right. And again, you want to season inside and out. I'm going to put just a little bit more in there. Oops, there went my lid. My oven is Heat it up to 450 degrees. You want it anywhere between 450 to 500. All right, now we've got a good thin layer inside this one. I'm going to flip it over. do the outside as well. My paper towel is falling apart. Perfect. Okay. Most of my cast iron is lodge. I'm going to have to get a different paper towel. As I was saying, most of my cast iron is lodge. However, this one is a Griswold. It is very old. This was my aunt's. If 
your paper towel starts to tear up on you, get another one You and make sure that you get all those little pieces off of your pan. You don't want those in your oven. Another way, and the best way, to season your cast iron is to use it. Every time you use your cast iron and you use your oil or your baking grease or lard or whatever you're using to cook with, you're seasoning it every time. These little nubbies are a pain in the butt. But it's a process and you just have to tell yourself that and get it done. It is worth it. There is nothing like a good piece of cast iron. And we are adding to our collection all the time. That was probably way too much. I'm going to do the outside of this real quick and then I'll come back to that. I think this is finally done. Just check and make sure that you've got oil all around your little nubbies if you have a lid like this. And be sure you get off any paper towel that might have <laughs> fallen apart. Okay, now it is time for the next step, and that is putting this in the oven. So my oven is preheated to 450. There is a right way to do this. You want to turn your pan upside down. and slide it in your oven. You can tell I have a cookie sheet that's foil lined underneath just in case anything were to drip. There's my lid. Obviously my little skillet isn't going to fit in here yet so I will do it later probably after I bake my bread because that has to come first. So you want to leave this in here for one hour and then let it cool and then we're going to store it and I'll show you that when we're done with this. So the cast iron is out of the oven. It's completely cooled off. Now I'm going to show you how I store it. First let me show you the finish. It's got a good season on it. No more rust. This is the one that I took out of the oven. This is the one that we just rolled. So I take a paper towel and I stack them. I put the paper towel between them to keep them from running, rubbing together. I keep the paper towel in there in case there's any kind of, um, what am I trying to say? Moisture, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> For my big Dutch oven, you can see no more rust. 
Got a good season on the inside. And the same thing with this. I'm not going to stack anything in here, but I am going to just to soak up any kind of moisture that might be in the air. I'm going to place a paper towel in the bottom. I put the lid back on and I set it on top of my cabinet. I have soffits above my cabinets. Not a favorite of mine, but it's there, so I use the space. So I kind of decorate with my cast iron up there. Now, you can store it on a cast iron wall. Mine just goes in the cabinet because I don't have a cast iron wall yet. So, that's it. That's all there is to taking care of your cast iron. Cleaning it, storing it, getting the rust off of it. I hope that you found this video informational. If you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows that there is good information in here in case somebody else needs to know how to take care of their cast iron. I have little doggy feet going across the floor if you can hear that. <laughs> be sure and give it a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. God bless.